Hi everyone. Good evening. Okay. Good evening everyone. It's been a minute since I've been on here, um, <clears throat> especially for a Wednesday night. Um, everyone knows I normally don't come on on Wednesday nights, <clears throat> but uh, I told them to stay in their room until I'm done. I bet that's Travis. Go lay down. They're used to me already being in bed. Skylar, what are you doing on here? I thought you'd be at church right now. Hi everyone. Okay, um, I figured I'd come on because I haven't been on in a minute. Go lay down, booger. We'll see if I can get through this without my kids interrupting. Um, okay, so I've been wanting to do this training, Holly, for weeks now. Um, Brielle, go lay down. I said no one come out of their room. Uh-uh, daddy's at church. Hey, go in your room. I'll be there in a minute. One rule. That was just one rule. Um, okay, so for those of y'all who do not know me, uh, my name is Brittany and I'm a director on Team Rising Grind. I've been with Cincy since 2017, uh, going up on five years in September. So excited. Um, I've been with Cincy since before COVID. I had a newborn at the time and my son was two. Now I have three kids. So since Cincy, I've, I've had another child, um, been through COVID, been through a very traumatic, life-changing event with my children. Hey, you, go lay down. Um, and yeah, so that's just a little bit about me. And I wanted to give you a little bit of uh, background on my sponsoring. So, because it's kind of like, why why should I listen to you, Brittany? One one rule, stay in y'all's room until I'm done. <clears throat> so it's kind of like, why, why are you talking about sponsoring, Brittany? Why do we want to listen to you? Well, why you want to listen to me is in the last year, <clears throat> I've personally sponsored 14 people. So from this date to April 18th of last year, I've sponsored 14 people. Seven of those people certified. Hey, y'all are about to get pops. Hold on. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. All right, let's see if that works. Okay, so since April of last year till now, I've personally sponsored 14 people. Out of those 14 people, seven have certified, one is a lead, and one is a star consultant. So that's nine out of 14 people um, that have taken off with their business, uh, whether they just promoted to certified or grew a team or whatever it is. So. I'm pretty good at sponsoring. I really enjoy it. Um, it definitely is something that I changed my mindset years ago. Um, I really believe that your mindset and believing that you can sponsor is huge. It's important because for the longest time, uh, I just simply didn't believe that I could sponsor. Um, and simply because if I'm being honest, it was about me. It was about joining my team and what it would do for me. But whenever I changed my mindset to this being an opportunity that could potentially bless a family to be able to put money for a down payment on a house, put food on the table, put their child in those sports that they want to do, I changed it to why I wanted people to join my team to how can this opportunity be a blessing to others and actually work since uh, like if they work since how can it be a blessing to them? So I, I believe that step number one is if you have that mindset of one, I can't sponsor, um, go ahead and, and just nip that in the butt and start saying I can sponsor. And two, don't think selfish as far as join my team. I gotta get, I need someone to, to join so they can certify so I can get this. No, 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 that's backwards. Um, how can this opportunity be a blessing to others? So let's see what I got for y'all. So here's my secret. This is my big secret. I go for a hundred no's and people who ghost me do not count as no's. So there's many ways that you can do this. I'm a pen and paper gal. So I just printed out a sheet like the list of 100 sheet. I printed that out, um, but I did list of 100 for no's. And every time someone said, no, not right now, I'm not into this, whatever, I wrote their name down. If they ghosted me, they don't count. Um, and then some people said yes. So I'm a pen and paper girl, that's how I did mine. Some people put five rubber bands on their wrist and every day they ask five people 
about joining or they share the opportunity, you move a rubber band to this side of the wrist. And then when all five are gone, you just keep doing that over and over again if you're into that. Um, my husband, he would probably do five push-ups for every time someone said no. You know, that's just whatever works for you. Um, but like I said, going for a hundred no's and talking about the opportunity five times a day, whether it's in my story, on social, one-on-one, -on -one, follow-ups. Whenever I do my follow-ups, I'm intentional. I, I look at my three-month follow-up. I'm following up with Amanda. I type her name into my workstation under contacts and I see how much she's ordered in the last six months or three months. And if, if she's ordered more than three times in the last three months, I'm gonna have that conversation with her about joining. I'm gonna show her how much she'd be getting paid just off her own orders. I'm very intentional with my follow-ups. It's not, hey girl, I got a bulk order going in, what you want? It's, hey Amanda, you've ordered three times in the last six months. Your paycheck could have been $150. I have um, a join host kit available. What are your thoughts on doing this? Another thing that works for me is I give compliments. Um, when I'm messaging someone, I'm gonna say, hey Amanda, I think you'd be really great at Scentsy because you love the product, you're so outgoing. What are your, have you ever thought about joining? And I'm authentic. I'm not gonna, I'm not lying to people. When, if you're gonna go the, the, um, the complimenting route, be authentic in your compliments. Don't just uh, text out something and then copy and paste it to 10 people because the people who join, they trust me. They know I'm not gonna lie to them. They know I'm not trying to pull a leg. Um, I'm very genuine whenever I hand out the compliments on why I think that they should join Sensi because you love the product, you're very outgoing, um, your husband stinks and now he won't, you know, stuff like that. All right, let me get back on. The biggest key is hold yourself accountable. So the reason why I do the pen and paper is because I'm holding myself accountable to getting those 100 no's every month. I give myself 30, 31 days for 100 no's. Do I get that every month? No, um, but, I, but I sure do try. Um, and so just hold yourself accountable. If you wanna take a sponsoring challenge, go for 100 no's, hold yourself accountable. What I realized back in my early Sensi years is if I wasn't asking, it's because I was afraid of rejection. I did not like the no. Um, and I think it's like something mentally that all of us have that God just built in us. Maybe, well, I wouldn't say it's from God, but it's just ultimately the fear of rejection. So you just have to look at it as not no and just not right now. I can't tell you, my, uh, my super, my star consultant on my team, she told me no for years, years. In fact, we were laughing about it the other week because she came over and I showed her my, my dream team list and on it you would see messaged October 18th, no response. Messaged again, February 18th said no, not right now, messaged again. So I just, I kept on messaging because she kept on ordering and now look, now she's on my team and she's a star consultant and she's rocking it. So um, so just know that it's just not an, a not right now and just go ahead and get rid of that rejection of people telling you no because it's for your Cincy business to thrive, you're gonna have to hear no's, whether it's in parties, people joining your team or even just wanting to purchase. We're in the business of kind of hearing no a lot. And that's okay because the more no's you hear, you're gonna get to that one yes. So here we go. Um, take risk to grow your business and um, your, Cincy, your Cincy business depends on this, on you asking people to join this, literally your Cincy business depends on it. And even if they say no or not right now, know that they are still watching you. Because like I said, I've had so many girls join my team um, from just watching me over time. And I think the biggest thing on why people do that is because they wanna see if you're gonna actually stay in this. I can't tell you how many people I see on my social media who join X, Y, and Z, and within six months, really three months, they're done. I don't see them doing it anymore. So now I don't trust them. And then if they join another company, I'm just gonna think, oh, how long until you quit this? You know what I mean? So I really think people who don't join your team, um, they're still watching you. Give it time because you're planting seeds. You have your arrows out now, which we're about to talk about. And um, 
and they're gonna come back around full circle. I promise you because I have a team of over 100 girls now and uh, and, they're, and it's all because of watching and, um, and having those arrows out. So let's, okay, I, was, I thought a child was crying. So let's talk about having your arrows out. <clears throat> the biggest key for me growing my business has been earn a kit. Um, earn a kit has been the biggest blessing and that wasn't always here. So like I said, I've been with Cincy since 2017 and um, whenever I joined, they happened to have a uh, promo going on that month where you could join for half off. Normally, they didn't have that. If you wanted to join, it was $99 or that's it. So the earn a kit, it was a huge thing for Cincy. Um, I make it a goal that I don't close out a party unless I have an earn a kit on there. <clears throat> and um, if you don't know what earn a kit is, YouTube it, because I'm not going to go into the nitty gritties of what that is. But what I will say about earn a kit is gift your kits. Um, gift your kits for free, or you can use up all your rewards. All you need is at least a penny left on your rewards, and you can still gift a kit. What do you need, baby? Cooper, turn on her movie. Okay, so gift your kids or use your rewards down to the penny and offer the $59 kit. What I've done is um, I've taken a day where I kind of made a bunch of cute graphics of $59 kits, whether I'm doing this and holding up the kit or whether I just made like a cute little slideshow. Hey, Cooper, Coop, shut your door. Shut your door, please. Um. I will say my superstar consultant, superstar consultant, she's almost a director. She, I gifted the kit for her for free. And she told me that she joined because she told me no so much that she just was like, well, it's for free. Um, and I just, I feel bad if I tell her no again. She's a superstar consultant now. So again, do you really need that extra warmer or those extra washer whip tubs? Or can you gift this opportunity to someone um, who, who could really benefit from this business. So again, change the mindset, make it a goal. Every time you're closing out a party, do not close it out until you have an earn a kit for someone joining. Um, so another thing is, are you asking people when you're closing out parties and you can't just post it in your story and think people are going to message you. Now that does happen a lot. Um, but my biggest thing that's helped me is calling people, getting them on the phone and just saying, and what I do is like a reverse psychology. I'll call them up and I'll say, Hey, Amanda, um, I'm closing out an order right now and it has a free, uh, join kit available. Do you know anyone in your family or friends who, who would want to take advantage of it? And they're like, uh, yeah, me. And I'm like, Oh, cool. So now if they do say no, I don't feel like they're rejecting me one-on-one, -on -one, if that makes sense. Um, and then also there has been times when people said, yeah, let me give my aunt a call or something like that. Now I don't offer the free kit as much anymore. And here's why, because when people take the free kit, they don't really work as hard to try to earn back the money. Whereas if they at least spend 25 to $60 on that kit, they're going to at least try to earn that money back. So I at least try to do like the 35 to $60 kit, but sometimes I will offer it for free. So utilize Star Wars tomorrow. So we have the, the Star Wars collection coming out tomorrow. I know a lot of y'all probably have pre-orders. Go ahead, get you a party link opened, um, collect all those Star Wars orders. Now you have a qualifying party. And I want you to start asking and making graphics tonight to prepare for tomorrow. Because what you don't want to happen is you're like kind of impatient. You're wanting to close out the party. Now you message 10 people asking them to join and no one's answering because they're probably all at work. You close out your party and then boom, come 9 p.m. Someone's like, yeah, I'll join. I've had that happen to me so many times. So for me tonight, I'm going to start making join graphics and I'm going to also start um, asking people tonight because I already know I'm going to have a qualifying party tomorrow after Star Wars launch. So utilize those LTO launches when you know that you're going to have a party to close out and start asking in advance. And just remember that you're gifting a business and changing lives. Um, I have one girl on here, Cincy pays for her chemo treatments. Another girl, Cincy paid for um, the closing costs on her new house that they're closing on. Another girl um, 
It paid for clothes for her children's daycare, uh, like for her kids going to daycare, it paid for new clothes for them. Um, it paid for a good time for her and her husband to go out for his birthday. For me personally, when my husband lost his job um, right before Christmas, it paid for Christmas gifts. It paid for our living for January and February when my husband did not have a job. So yeah, since he truly changed my life. Brielle, Joy, go lay down, baby. So again, this isn't about you. This isn't about join my team. Hey, okay, I'll be there in a minute. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. Tell him, tell him I'll be there in a minute. Okay, go go put it on then. Um, remember, this isn't about. Remember, this isn't about join my team. Think of how um, this business can bless others, and you're sharing the opportunity. Let's see. Okay, so the last thing. So so we talked about earlier um, what's been working for me. We talked about having your arrows out, and now I'm going to talk to you about conversations. So now what? Now you're like, all right, Brittany, I'm ready. I'm ready to sponsor. Hey, Cooper, shut y'all's door. You not open it again. So I made this for y'all. Actually, I didn't make this for you. Another uh, superstar director made this and I took it. So I'm putting this file on our team page so you can print this out. And what this is, is it's a conversation. So when people say no, again, remember, it is just not right now. I can't tell you how many people on my team told me no in the beginning. So these are some icebreakers for you. Um, hey, blank, so here's the deal. I have a free Sensi new consultant kit right now and I would love to offer it to you. I really think you would be amazing at this because blah, 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 you got nothing to lose. What do you think? That's an icebreaker. Again, word it to how you would sound, but now you get a gist of how to ask someone. Another one, hi, this may seem so random, but I've been thinking about you a lot recently and I hope you're doing well during, uh, during the whatever. I've been thinking of people who I'd want to work with and who I think would kill it at this business. Your name continues to run in my mind. I've always admired your blank and blank. I don't know if it would be a fit for you, but I'd like to say my heart has been, has said your name over and over again, and I needed to reach out. It's a great opportunity, and I want to share this business with you. That sounds more authentic. It's not, hey, join my team. Um, it's not, I have a free kit, do you want it? It's more intentional. Again, I get people on the phone. I like to talk on the phone, or I voice text. Um, hey, hey Amanda, I have an extra Cincy enrollment kit up for grabs tonight. Want it? That's it. And then normally I send them a cute graphic. If I do text them, I send them a cute graphic of me holding the kit, something like that. Um, okay, so now, now time. So now you started the conversation. Now we're into the excuse busters. No, I'm too busy. And then here's how you can respond. I am too. That means you have more opportunities to talk to and meet more potential customers. The best part of this gig is the flexibility. You can squeeze it in when you have time. Y'all, it is 7.50 and, I can, and I'm supposed to be in bed watching church service right now, but I am on here talking to two people watching me out of a team of over 200 people on this team page. I have two people watching me, but I found this to be so important that I wanted y'all to know about it. Um, okay. Everyone sells it. That's another, these are the top main three excuses I hear. I'm too busy, everyone sells it, or I'm not a salesperson. So excuse buster you can say back is everyone can, but most don't actively sell it or provide the best service. Or it's a great sales product, it's consumable, people need more, that's why, that's where you come into play. Boom, another excuse buster. Um, I'm not a salesperson, good, I'm not either. That's the best part of this job. You don't have to be, it sells itself. Boom, so now those are the excuse, excuse busters. You have your conversation starters, now they just rebuttaled to you and you busted their excuse. So what do they have to lose? Okay, so now it's your turn, put it into play. There's no change where there is no action. Fill in your own icebreakers here and fill in your own excuse busters here. So as you're having those conversations, if they say, I can't join because blah, blah, blah. Well, boom, how did you respond to that? And share with the team page because every answer is different. Um, some people say I might not have the money right now. Well, boom, offer them a free kit or have them host a party and earn their kit for free. So I'm gonna post this on the team page. Um, this is just like a good little sponsoring converse, conversation starter. Um, 
I think I already told y'all this, uh, but be authentic in whatever compliment you give. That really works for me is I always like to compliment people whenever I'm asking them to join is I'll say, hey, Amy, I think you're um, really outgoing and I think you'd be really great because you love this product already. What are your thoughts on joining? Just something simple. I'm authentic, I'm being personal, and I offered the opportunity. Um, try the reverse psychology, like I said. Um, that's something I do. I get people on the phone and I'll say, hey, Amy, um, I have a free join kit available. Do you have any friends or family or cousins that, that would like to join Scentsy for free? 90% of the time, they say, oh, I wanna join for free. And I think the other thing is a lot of people tell me that they don't want to join because they don't want to let me down. Um, and I, I don't, I, that might sound weird to y'all, but I actually have had people say that before. But for me, I don't get a benefit just for people joining. My biggest thing, it's kind of, um, it's kind of like with faith. I serve you what I know and what you do with it is on you type deal. And that's how I feel with this business. I'm going to guide you. I'm going to help you. And if you take off, you take off. If you don't, you don't. It's, it's okay. Like I said, my, my star consultant, um, I think she joined for free. I asked her for years to join. She said no. Finally joined and then boom, took off with it. So uh, don't prejudge people because if you don't ask people, I promise you another consultant will and they will join a team. I've had that happen to me many times, many times. Um, it's your job to share this opportunity with people. It's not your job to be greedy with this opportunity. It's your job to share it. So um, go out and share it. But that's all I have for you all today. Um, going for the nose, have your arrows out and have those conversations. It is April 20th. Your butt better be not celebrating 420 that way. You better be in church or something celebrating. But um, I love you guys. And I, I say for the rest of this month, let's go for those 100 no's. I'm going to do it myself. I have my paper and I'll be posting on the team page every time someone tells me no that they don't want to join. And um, yeah, let's, let's do that. So I love you guys and I hope you all have a great evening. If you have any questions, drop it be below. The only thing I'm sharing with y'all is this right here, the conversations, the icebreakers, and then the, your own excuse busters. And if you didn't watch the beginning, just go back and catch the replay. All right. Love you guys.